Four years now? No, no, no. For for decades. No! For centuries! People have been debating whether or not you should skate a vulcanized skate shoe or a cup sole skate shoe. But the bigger question that you should ask yourself is, is a cup sole better for you or is a vulcanized sole better for you? What's the difference between a cup sole and a vulcanized sole? If you're looking for a pretty good new skate shoe nowadays, then you're probably going to be spending about $60, which means I'm almost halfway to getting myself a new pair of shoes thanks to my patrons. Ernest, Jimmy, Jerry, Bradley, Simply Stylin, Zane, Colby, Luther, Frank, and Quickenhope. Thank you guys. They're the first 10 Patreons for my videos, and if you want to help support this channel and the very high quality content that we produce here, well, I produce here, then go join my Patreon where you get early access to all my videos, exclusive videos that I'm not posting on my YouTube channel, and the most important one of all, the Patreons get to pick what shoes I'm reviewing next. All the comments determine what shoes I buy, and then you Patreons pick the next shoe review. So go become one of the homies that's supporting this channel and the biggest skateboarders Patreon on Patreon. If nobody else is doing it with skateboarding, then I am the biggest one. So here are the differences between these two and what you should think about when you get your next skate shoe. The first thing that we need to identify is what exactly is the difference between a cup sole and a vulcanized sole. The sole of the shoe is much like yourself, it's your foundation. It's what connects your upper to your foot. The outsole can come in one solid piece that your foot sits inside of, and that would be a cup sole. Or your outsole could come in two pieces, one piece of rubber on the bottom of the shoe that you step on, and another piece of rubber that wraps all the way around the shoe that holds your foot in place, and that would be a vulcanized sole. A shoe that is a vulcanized outsole will typically feel like it has a better flick. When I say better flick, I mean anything with a kick flip, a nollie flip, a hard flip, anything that has a kick flipping motion. The reason why this happens is because your foot is sitting higher in the shoe and you have that extra piece of rubber wrapping around your toes. So, that extra piece of rubber is making contact with the edge of the board quicker than it would with a cup sole. But for some reason I feel like when I have a vulcanized skate shoe, my heel flips feel worse. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel the same. Let me know if you experience the same thing. I've noticed that every skate shoe that I get that's a cup sole makes all of my heel flip tricks feel so much better. When you do a heel flip and you're using the side of your heel to flick it, the fact that your heel is sitting inside the cup sole makes it so that your heel is responding to the motion of the heel flip better than it would with a vulcanized shoe where your foot is sitting on top of the outsole. The big determining factor for you when you're picking your next skate shoe could be if you like heel flips more, cup sole, or if you like kick flips more, vulcanized sole. But I encourage you to try both and see which one you like most. And more importantly, you need to like this video for YouTube's algorithm to help get video to people and be the best subscribers. And if you think that there's a big difference that I didn't cover in this video, leave it in the comments. And if I think it's a good reason, I'll pin it to the top. I don't know what my subscriber percentage is at. Last time we checked, it was worse. But Real quick, one second. Let me see what... I'm doing this live. This is live feed right now. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. I can hit refresh. All right. Refresh. Worse. We're at worse. 59.5 of you doubt. I don't know what I need to do so that everybody that watches these videos is actually subscribed to the channel. Because right now, I'm basically floundering around the seafloor, like drowning under the ocean of people that watch my videos that don't subscribe. Make sure you send the channel to the homies because this is the number one skateboard shoe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, uh, merch is almost gone. I still can't believe that like 60% of people's not subscribed. All right, I gotta go. Love you. Bye. <laughs> some, some kid came out to me at the skate park today. Dude, what's up, bro? I, I forgot what your name was. You told me about it. I'm so bad with names. He said, he said he liked my videos, right? He said he liked my videos. And then he was like, hey, why are your percentages so bad? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. <laughs> They're real bad. <sighs> if you watched this far, uh, leave a comment and say lemon, lemon drop. That's it. So it's. Table tile, potato, potato, pat, and le best channel in the world, lemon drop. Okay, later, love you.